Hey everyone, this is Randy from BibleBuyingGuide.com. Today I'm taking a look at a brand new Bible from Thomas Nelson in the New King James. This is the Interleaved Bible Journal Edition. And interleaved means that it has a page for notes for every page of text. And I like that a lot. I've been looking forward to this Bible for a while. And it comes in flax. Let's see, it's called Flax Cloth Bound Hardcover. Now, I'm a fan of hardcovers. And this is a cloth bound, and it looks like flax. It's flax colored tan. Kind of an oatmeal look to it. With uh, nothing on the front, and then ISBN on the back. Then the spine is flat. And then we have our text. This flat spine is that design that allows the spine to come upward when it's opened like that and that helps make the pages flat i like that a lot made in china it has a paste down liner that works as the presentation page and it has a nice pattern to it i like that pattern i like that color the colors work well smith sewn i usually forget to say that there's so many that's it, everything's my sewn now um, but it is Smythe sewn and it has a taupe ribbon and a burgundy ribbon 3 8 inch ribbons they're double sided satin I like them a lot you can pull them to the corner to open no trouble at all paper is 40 GSM this is good paper for writing here's why I like hardcovers they just stay open now the paper could be a little bit more opaque I was actually expecting more opacity than this it's not so bad though with uh, with notes when you're writing with pens I'm, I've been using microns a red at 0, 01 and a green at 0, 05 and then I also use pencil I like to use pencil a lot pencil because you can erase we have here in the front how to use the NKJV Interleaved Bible by Dr. Philip Nation. Now, he is the vice president and the Bible publisher of Thomas Nelson. And he's written a little bit of information here about where it came from, the Jonathan Edwards blank Bible. And that's where it got its inspiration. And then he gives some advice on how to use this for personal study, recording prayers, sermon and group study notes, and making a legacy Bible. And if you would like more information, see my book on Bible marking called Easy Bible Marking Guide. And then in this book, I step you through some marking techniques and show you how to, how to study the Bible through marking. I'll place a link in the notes. So this is the layout. We have double column, paragraph. I am so glad it's in paragraph because it's made made for reading and it's made to dig into scripture and, and that's easier with paragraph it's easier to keep things in context and to see and understand the context i like paragraph nine point font it is a dark font it could have a little bit more space between the lines that would make it a little bit easier to underline it's not too crowded um, but it's still that that would be one thing that i could see doing a little bit different beautiful poetic setting 10 words per line now i've i've gone on record saying that 10 words per line is the best all around design for prose and poetry and right there proves it that's that works that's beautiful so this does have a poetic setting we have across the top book names with chapter and verse number and then in the center we have the page number and the pages, the blank pages are counted. So we go from 50 to 53. They're counted in the numbering, but they're not labeled. Across the bottom, we have the footnotes. These are the translation footnotes for the New King James, but this is the abridged version of the notes, which is still a very good version of notes. These are really good. They show the differences between uh, manuscripts and they identify what the manuscripts are. They don't just say the best manuscripts or something like that. They tell you what the manuscript variations are and let you decide for yourself if that's good or bad. And then it will also tell you where something is quoted from. So if you go down here in the New Testament, it'll... If it gives you a quote, let me find one. 
So it'll show you where something's quoted from. And then as you can see, this is a red letter edition. And this is a beautiful red. The paper has a cream color. It's not a yellow color. And it's not a dark cream, but it's definitely a very noticeable cream. And red is one of those colors that's hard to get right on cream. And they've done it right this time. They've got a good dark red. There's a little bit of variation, but not much. You have to look for it. Not much at all. Black is very dark on this. It looks good. Getting back to the layout, there's some poetry with prose. They just It looks right. It looks well. Well done. Excellent. This is a beautiful layout. I would go on record saying this is one of my favorite layouts ever. Of any Bible ever. Because they've divided poetry in the right places. Everything is designed well. Everything's balanced. It looks good. Prayers are indented. Personal letters are indented. There's Psalms. Let's look for a personal letter. There's a letter in Ezra. You can see that it's indented. They stand out well, but at the same time it has enough enough line space to look look right. And letters are um, left justified and ragged right edge. So they stand apart from the rest of the text. Now this has no other tools. Another thing I wanted to point out is the preface to the New King James. This is the full preface rather than the smaller preface. So that gives you all the information. I, I like that. This is the larger preface rather than the condensed Lots of good information there. This Bible just stays open well. It's easy to write in. The paper is thick, 40 GSM. Slightly rough, but the right texture for writing. Easy to turn and grab. No trouble at all. No problem with this paper. There's some more indenting. I did make a few notes, but not a lot yet. I'm going to use this as a personal journal. So I wrote in pencil, just, just a mechanical pencil. I wrote in green Pigma Micron, that's a 05. And I wrote in red Pigma Micron, and that is a 01. A 01. So let's see what it looks like on the other side of the page. Just barely shows through. No bleed through at all. It just barely shows through. Looks good. I like it. And then there are no other tools in the back. One thing also to keep in mind, the last page has to share the page with the note about the typeface from 2K Denmark. This is a 2K Denmark comfort print design. And then the first page shares the Old Testament introduction page. So that's your first and last page. So let's take a look at the size and weight. Six and a half by nine and a half by two and an eighth. It weighs three pounds, 7.3 ounces. And of course, I'd like to compare it to a few other Bibles. The first being the Journaling Bible Interleaved Edition from Crossway. This is the closest Bible to this one. And they are very similar in size. The New King James is slightly thinner and just slightly more narrow. And of course, very similar covers smoother this is a smoother cloth than this one and the ESV has a 50 GSM paper and it is noticeably more opaque 
the font in the ESV is smaller. So here's how they compare. Another journaling edition I like to compare to is the New King James Journal of the Word Bible. This is the regular print. I do not have this in large print. I can't compare the print size to the regular, to the larger edition. But smaller footprint, a lot thinner. And this one has about 38 GSM paper in that range. This is Lucinda's. And it, it is noticeably more cream. Here's how they compare. I'll also show you red letter on these because both are red letter. There's how the red compares. I'd also like to compare to a wide margin. This is a large print wide margin reference Bible, New King James from Thomas Nelson. This one is noticeably wider. Uh, almost the same height, right around the same height, and noticeably thinner. Now, this one is going to have a lot larger print because that is the point of this Bible. So, big difference between the design. Get over to a prose, something along that line. Here's how they compare. There's the red letter. Now this one being a reference edition and being large print has a smaller margin. It, it is wide margin, but it doesn't have quite as much space. And this one has concordance and maps. And then finally the New King James wide margin reference edition from Cambridge. Same footprint almost as the Thomas Nelson large print. So quite a bit wider and quite a bit thinner. And noticeably larger font in the Thomas Nelson. Both are red letter. So there's how the red letter compare. And this one is a reference edition also with center column reference and a large concordance note paper in the back with blank paper for an index and then maps. So that's a quick look at the Interleaved Bible Journal Edition from Thomas Nelson in New King James. I like the size of this Bible. It's a lot smaller than I expected. The paper is thicker than I expected. It's a little bit, not quite as opaque as I'd like, but it's still good enough. I love the layout. Absolutely beautiful layout. No references or any other tools, but plenty of space to write your own. 912 pages notes that is ridiculous amount of note paper 912 pages for notes beautiful prose and beautiful poetic setting here they are together and this is why I say 10 words per line to me that's perfect I don't care how many how many uh, columns you have per page that, that to me that's not the important thing the important thing is how wide they are and this is an example of that and this is why I say that because that's beautiful poetry, and that is beautiful prose. It works perfectly together. This is my favorite layout right here. Now you can do this in single column, of course. Make a larger print, single column. That's that you know that would be even better. But this this font is large enough to read. 
It is a true nine point. The red letter looks beautiful. Plenty of space to write. This is an excellent Bible to create exactly what Philip is Philip Nation is talking about here in the front for personal study, recording prayers, sermon and group study notes, and making a legacy Bible. I'm going to use the front page to write a color code or any other keys to my notes. I'd like to have a few pages in the front or back, especially these thicker pages, to create color codes and to coordinate an index or something like that for notes or something along that line. I'm personally going to use this one as a personal journal, but it would be great for preaching. It would be great for teaching, artwork, any kind of devotional. You want to create your own devotional, any kind of work like that, it's excellent for. I highly recommend this Bible. It, since it's hardcover, it is easy to write in, and these hardcovers stay open perfectly. Pages stay flat perfectly. Everything about it is excellent. It does not include overcast stitching, but it is Smythe sewn. Wouldn't mind having a few pages in the back, especially the thicker pages, to, to create some notes or an index or something along that line. I like maps, so to, I, I do find them helpful. So something back there would be helpful. But I don't want to make this Bible much larger than it is. It, at two inches and an eighth, it, that's about the limit. So maybe just a few pages, but not many. Red letter all the way through. Books start on a new page. So wherever you end up, end, you have the rest of that for notes also. Plenty of room. So if you need note space, this is a good choice. The New King James is one of my absolute favorite translations, so I'm going to get some use out of this one. So that's my quick look at the interleaved Bible journal edition from Thomas Nelson. They did supply this in exchange for an honest review. I will place a link in the notes so that you can make a purchase if you're interested. This cover is a limited edition. So when they do uh, come out with the next run, the, this cover will not be available. So if you're interested in this cover, you better get it quick. So if you have any questions, let me know. I will try to answer. And thanks for watching.